Hey everybody, it's Jessica from Crow's Nest. This is part two of the floral preservation silica comparison. So I did a video uh, about a week or a week and a half ago on uh, doing some flowers with both the Wise Dry and the Activa blend of silica. These are the two top, I mean, from what I'm talking to different influencers, different resin people, I have, you know, most of them want to use this product. Now there's a bunch of products out there. You can read the comments on Amazon. Um, but these are pretty superior products. So I decided that I would do a comparison between the two. Um, I had just been using Wise Dry and so I got some Activa. So what we're going to do is, um, in part one, I did, um, two containers a couple of days apart and I videoed that. So that was kind of before I learned how to do the editing. So now I can probably put them all together, but I'll just leave this as part two. So uh, just a refresher, the Activa you can get on Amazon or at Michael's. It is cheaper at Michael's, especially because it's $26.99, I think, for the five pound bag. And you typically get like a 20% off coupon or sometimes even 30% off. So I get it when they have the coupon and then if I have any rewards. So um, I would just recommend going to Michael's if you have one locally. If you don't have a Michael's locally, then yes, you can get it on Amazon. Um, so the Activa comes and it's like a blue. And as it starts to kind of lose its absorbency, it turns to a white. And that kind of lets you know that it's time to recharge it. You can reuse these, which is why I like them um, for the price, number one. Uh, you don't want to spend $30 a bag for something that you only can do one project in. So after you notice that these crystals have turned into, you know, white, what you do is you can put them on a sheet tray uh, in the oven and uh, they come with an uh, instruction packet and you take that instruction packet, it'll tell you exactly how to do it. Now, what I have figured out is if you do the microwave preservation method with this, it kind of ruins them. So I just wouldn't recommend that unless it's the last little bit you have, you need them today, and then you're gonna go buy some more. So that's with either or, okay? So with the Wise Dry or the Activa, once you do the microwave method, they're pretty much done for. I'm not sure why, um, but that's, that's what I found. So I did a couple of containers a couple days apart with this one, and then a couple of uh, containers a couple of days apart with the Wise Dry. Wise Dry is on Amazon. These are both five gallon bags. Um, and so far, they've been pretty much on point as far as weight. Sometimes you buy things, it's a five gallon bag or a, a five pound bag and you get four pounds. Uh, I would just recommend, you know, look in the comments. People do reviews for a reason. Look in the comments, see what other people have found before you buy something. But I will tell you that these two brands are top notch. Okay, across the board with different uh, resin floral preservationists or just floral preservations in general. So we're going to start off, I've got my gloves on because I've got really sensitive skin. I have a condition called dyshydrosis and when I get into contact with certain chemicals or if I get really stressed out, I get kind of like these blisters under my skin. So I try to protect myself. Now the first video I did, I did not use any gloves and I didn't have any problems with my hands. Uh, but right now we are actually moving from a craft room to a warehouse. So I'm super, super excited, but it's stressful moving everything. And here in Kentucky, it's been snowing and the kids have been out for school and everything's kind of crazy. But today we're going to do the first batch. This was from January the 8th. This was actually from my great aunt's funeral and I'm gonna do a floral preservation for my family for her. So what I have done, I got just a little brush and I just have an old knife. And what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna look at, so I just kind of tap a little bit. We wanna get that silica off there. So this is just some greenery and it's, it's dry. It's definitely dry just for sitting on top. But like I said, this has been in there since the eighth. And then I just put a couple petals here on top. Actually, the color's not too bad. These are pink roses, and I just threw that in on the top just as a, but the color looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda go down underneath and gently lift it. And what you're gonna look for, it should sound like this. Okay, be very careful. See, I just cracked that one, so 
that is what you're looking for. If they are still pliable, um, then they're still wet and they need to go back in. These gloves are actually too big, so lesson learned. Okay, so that is a pink, look at that. I mean, it almost looks exactly like when I brought it home. Her funeral, it was I think 14 degrees that day, so it was super, super cold. So they were already a little bit um, cold snapped, but look at the color on that. That's, that's pretty impressive. And they were very light pink roses. This is a little carnation. So that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a couple out of here and then we'll move on to the next. So this is a larger rose here. Like I said, be very, very careful. They're gonna be super delicate. But that is pretty good, because like I said, this this coloration here was from the cold, where they had been out in the cold. But I'm really, really impressed. That's a beautiful color. It kept its color. Yeah, these did really good. I need smaller gloves for Pete's sake. And like I said, if you're gonna put these in resin, because you have to pour just a little bit down in between, I did not kind of pull these petals out. I kind of left them because I knew that I was gonna leave them longer than instructions. Most of the instructions say two to three days. No, if you're doing this in resin, you wanna make sure that this flower is completely dry because if you don't, it will decay inside your resin. It will continue to die inside there and it will ruin your piece. So, like I said, make sure that you shake this all off. You can use, um, like I said, this little brush like I was using. Get anything off the little petals. I usually just tap. But I am really impressed with the color on that. Let's see here. I'm going to try to turn this on. I don't know if that's going to be any better, but... Pretty impressive. So that is the Wise Dry. I'm not going to continue... Um, getting more out of this container. So what I'm gonna do is move this to the side. And the next container I did on the 10th. So this one is January the 10th, and this one is the Activa. Now I got these containers, like I said in my uh, other video, at the Dollar Tree. These things seal, they're buck 25. And they're better than any Tupperware I have, that's for sure. Ugh, there we go. All right, so like I said, this one is the Activa. And I just went ahead and put the instructions down there so I made sure. So this is a batch of actually what we call Deo flowers. So this was one of the local florists. They weren't going to use them. They were going to throw them out. So they were like, do you want them? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing a comparison. So... They gave me some Dayo flowers, so they were not perfect in the first place. So this is just some baby's breath. So what I wanna do first is this white rose. These were very large, like I said, these came from the florist. And they had not been out in super cold temperatures. So that is a white rose. Looks pretty good, actually. And this is a red rose. Now you can tell with the Y or with the Activa, you may not need to leave it as long. Um, but like I said, I wanted to make sure that there was no doubt. It 
it's a little darker than I would like, but it's definitely still got quite a bit of color, so it'll be pretty. I think that's all I had in this one. Let's see. Like I said, you gotta be super careful. So yeah, the, the red color is not that great, but just as a reminder that a lot of times these will darken. Your flowers are gonna darken anyway, regardless. So this is just some red and white roses with the Activa. Like I said, I normally use the Wise Dry. This is my first um, trial with the Activa. But these next two containers that we're gonna do um, they are the same flowers. So we will get a side-by-side -side comparison of the same thing. So this one is the 11th, and these are Activa. And as you can see, my blue crystals are now white. So this is just some greenery I put on the top. As you can see, what was on the bottom, these are dried. Like I said, I just threw it on the top. This is not dry, so this will need to go back in if I'm gonna use it. Okay, so you can tell this one's the dry and this one still has moisture. Little button heads. These usually dry up pretty good. This one's, it's still a little bit soft, but it's completely dry. I can fill in the stem. And I mean, I packed this guy down. I mean, there's lots in here. So, way dry because this one's going to pieces. I probably need to get some tweezers. Okay, so these were little daisies little Gerber daisies or flowers similar to that. These became very brittle. So, side note, on these, we probably don't need to dry them as long. Because they are just breaking into pieces. So this one did pretty good. So these I'll just use as petals. Cause like I said, these are, I packed these too deep. I was just doing layer after layer after layer. So color on Activa, the purple looks good. The white actually is a very bright white. It looks really good. And what I'll probably end up doing once I get off video is just gently start to pour this out instead of digging it out so I don't break anymore. Um, but these little button flowers did pretty good. They were a, a kind of a bright green. They're still green, but they're not that lime green. Okay, so that's the Activa. And this is the Wise Dry. Pretty good color, actually. The color's better, I think, on the Wise Dry. Activa, Wise Dry. Pretty similar, this one's a little bit more dried. Carnation. Okay, so now we know these little bitty guys here 
not so long. But the purple looks pretty good in these. Pretty, pretty happy with those. Let me see if I can't find a carnation. I think that was the only carnation I actually had. Okay. So, as far as comparison goes with, I think they're both equally as good, honestly. Activa Lies Dry. I think there's still a little bit more color in this one, but pretty equal amounts. I'm super happy with this carnation. I normally, I hate carnations. It's one of those, I'm kind of like Sarah Jessica Parker on Sex and the City. I hate carnations. Um, but I just, I had one, so I just threw it in there. And really, the color stayed pretty good on that. I think I only had one of these. And then as far as the little green pieces here. Wise Dry. Activa. All right, so lesson learned. Smaller the flower, maybe not a week and a half, almost two weeks. Because these are anywhere from 10, 10 days, 8 days, 10 days. So um, probably 4 to 5 days and then take them out. So I'm going to take these out. I'll get all the... Uh, silica off of them and then I'll put them in an airtight container and store them for resin preservation. Uh, when I do the memorial preservation, I may tape that. I may not. Like I said, it is, um, you know, from my family. So uh, we will see what we do on that. But I just wanted to give you the conclusion. Wise Dry, Activa, both excellent job as far as preserving. Smaller the flowers, the least amount of time. I know some people leave the roses, bigger roses, especially like floral bouquets and things like that. They leave them in there up to 12 weeks, uh, which I'm kind of afraid they would become so brittle when you try to take them out that they would just kind of do like some of these little ones did. Um, but that's the comparison on uh, those two. I will probably use them both interchangeable, but I think I'm still going to use my Wise Dry. It's, it's, just kind of my preference. I can get more uses. There's still lots of orange in here, so I could get more uses out of it without recharging in between. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm back real quick. I just wanted to, I've sifted through everything. So, these were my aunt's funeral flowers. These have been in Wise Dry since January the 8th. Today is the 21st, I think, or 22nd. Um, I'm super, super, super happy. They really have good color. They did really, really well. Um, like I said earlier in my video, I was doing some smaller stuff that just kind of fell apart. I've only really done bigger flowers like the roses. So, um, just lesson learned. But I'm saving all the little petals because that's going to go great in a pendant or something like that. So, these are Wise Dry. And then on the comparison, we did, oops, I've got static everywhere. It's going to stick to me. So these are the flowers that we did with the Wise Dry in comparison. And like I said, I've got static. Terrible. And these are with Activa. And there was also a couple of white roses in the bottom. I forgot about that. So, Activa on the small flowers, saving my petals, same thing here. Color is about the same, I think. It's just, it seems like the, the Activa really, really dried these out. And that's probably my fault, because I probably left them longer than they should have been. All right, and then on uh, another Activa, this was from the 11th. These were some peach Gerber daisies, the red roses that we pulled out in the video. I found one little carnation here. I thought it was kind of cool that when these dry, 
the back of these are white, but the front is pink. But I love the color, so I'm definitely going to be getting a lot more Gerber daisies and drying those because they did exceptionally well. Um, I lost a few petals, um, but most of them stayed intact pretty well. And, you know, where they're already kind of a flat flower, I think they'll do pretty well uh, in resin. So, Activa here. Let me get this away. Okay, so these two are Activa. And these two are wise dry. I'm super happy with both of them. Like I said, I was trying some new little smaller things, but um, the petals did really good. So those will be really good in pendants and things like that. So I'm kind of excited about that, trays and such. So uh, I think I'm gonna probably stick to something like these, the Gerber daisies. And of course I'll still continue to do the roses. Um, this came out pretty good. I don't exactly know what that's called, but it kept its its color pretty well. And then there was just a little, I don't know if that's kind of a hydrangea mix. It was in a bouquet that I got from Kroger, actually. So, roses did really well in both. Uh, kept their color, except the darker roses, which the, the red roses are always going to go dark on you. But I hope that... Um, this has helped you uh, find some silica that's both cost effective and reusable. Just wanted to show you the Wise Dry is still orange, so I can still use this one uh, a couple more times. However, the Activa is all white, so I'm going to have to recharge that one before I draw anything else in it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.